Hi everyone, this video is about login system within React.js plus Node.js and MySQL. Okay, uh, our front end will be in React.js, the per back end Node.js, and the database we will store the data in uh, MySQL database. So, I have already set up my environment. Okay, if you didn't set up, so please set up your environment. For that, we have two folders front end and back end. Front end is our React app. And the backend is our um, backend node.js app okay in node.js we have a file server.js and in this backend we installed express in mysql express is uh, for using a, a framework for the node.js okay and also we have installed cores so now let's get start coding okay first we will create a login page our front end so for that i will come here and i will create a new file login.js I will start my front end coding here. It is a forum, so let's create one another view. So, here create forum inside forum. We will take a label, or we will just use a div tag label. we can say email okay this is email same to this we will create our password Yes, so now let's create a button. So I will design it with Bootstrap. I have already installed Bootstrap, I will import it. Okay, so we imported that. So let's try it here. Yes, so we have created that. So now let's just uh, add here a class name that will be margin button two, or we can say three. Copy this, paste it here, and after that, just assign a class name here. Form control. Copy this. And also, let's design the button class. Yes, we have designed our login feed, so let's run it now. Mm, let's move to the front end folder and here npm start. start I didn't print anything so let's import this file uh, login in our app.js okay so let's remove this code
Here's sim for the login page. And we will use that here. The app.js is imported in the index. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it looks like this. So let's make it. Yeah, it is okay now. So now, whenever we enter the data, so we should uh, by pressing this login button, we should uh, check that with the um, our MySQL database. So first, I will write code for uh, to get the values of these. Okay, I will create two state variables. Const email set set email is equal to use state hook same for password and now I will whenever I am entering data in this email or password I should store that in this email and password variable state variable so let's come here and change we will call unchange image and here we will write a row function that would be sit email sorry e dot target dot value and the same I will write for password just I will change this method to password So it will store the values there. So now whenever we press this button, so we should call uh, another um, function unsubmit with unsubmit uh, event and all submit. So let's create that function now. We will get an event here. We will prevent default submission. Yeah, after that uh, we will pass our data to the uh, our backend node.js so now we will pass our data to the backend so before passing data to the backend so first we will set up that we will write code for that let's come to the server.js uh, let's remove this yeah here first we will import the um, express to require the express and also the in my sequel and also the course I have installed these three okay express mysql and course course are used that uh, without course um, our backend will not allow us to access the um, apis okay so courses for that to access that from fr front end okay so now let's use create an app is equal to i will call express now by app i will use the course okay course will call course and also I will just create um, assign a port okay up dot listen our server will listen and gun port it is the port number on 8081 it will be the port and let's print a message here dot log listening for and um, now our server is listening okay if we run the command so it will be print as listening so before that let's create our uh, mysql connection so for that let's write const db is equal to mysql that create connection so for that let's press pass the property the first one is the host host is the uh, local host for uh, with us local host and the user is root with us by default the password we didn't set the password in the database 
so let's uh, create a database so for that uh, i am using my sql i will come to the PHP. i'm using zam server okay i will come to the my uh, php my admin yeah it's the my sql so here i will come to let's come to the crat and here we already have a login okay a login table we have created so in the login table uh, let's check it yeah we have username and password uh, but uh, let's create one another one so let's insert a new data user part gmail.com and the password would be one two three four A new record has created in the login table okay so now let's come here to the server.js after um, the database name is crud with us okay now let's create an api okay so whenever we pass the data that should come the data should come to this api so for that i will use app.post because we are posting the data and the url would be login and here we will get two properties two parameters the first one is the request and the second one is the response and here now we will write our query const sql is equal to select steric from the table name was login where um, the username is equal to with question mark and password is equal to question mark so for this question mark we will assign values later so for that i will write like this okay const values is equal to we will write the values like this request dot body dot name email okay email we will attach these values in the front end request dot body dot password after that we will run our query db dot query and here we will pass sql first then the values and after that we will get uh, error or data if there was an error so it will return result dot json login failed otherwise return uh, result dot json data so now let's pass the data from our front end so for that i will use axis library to post the data so let's import the axis axis dot post our url would be so let's so to create to have our url for that uh, let's come to the server.js and here we will Come to the backend and just try to um, npm start one thing is that i have installed that is uh, so let's first like, uh, fall come to the backend folder to the package.json uh, i have installed nodeman okay nodeman okay i have installed this one what you do after installing this you should write like this okay start after right in the script area right start node mode server that is our file name is server it will the job of this is that it will automatically refresh our server okay so let's do the command npm start so it will start our this file okay node.js backend see listening okay that the message that we have given here listening okay it is listening and port number 8080 so now let's come run a local host 80 81 yeah 
this is the port that we should access let's come to the login and here we will write this one and we would like to go to the route login and after that pass the data email and password password and then we will get a result we would like to cancel that result dot catch if there was any error print that for us so let's check it now we'll move to the console and because we will print the data the result on the console press login button uh, we got server side error what is the error so let's check it server course the course was used yes okay so let's change our data to update to use mm, express that JSON we will change our data format to the JSON when we are passing that uh, and okay right now yes let's again yeah login failed okay login failed and we have an error so let's change this we will write it directly here because we have two question mark and we will write the data separately to everyone yes let's remove this yeah, and also if there was any error so it will print us the error error okay uh, but if that return the data so now we will check our data if data dot length was greater than zero so then we will return result the json login successful else we will return uh, no record okay let's come here let's refresh our page so let's write something it will print us no record login because we don't have this record see no record has printed for us uh, but if we write uh, the correct email user at gmail.com and the correct password one two three four five and press login button see login successfully if we change the password again no record if we make the password correct and change the name the email again no record so again successfully so it was all about implementing the uh, login page using react with the node.js i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel and uh, thanks for watching